Okay, so quickly we're going to look at this um, seven segment display driver. Um, and I think it's important because um, you need to think about uh, devices, even though we're not breadboarding, um, you need to think about devices and, and how you would uh, create a physical circuit. And um, a seven segment display driver is nice because it helps you connect a binary number to a seven segment display. Um, so let me show you how that works. <clears throat> uh, the uh, IC is the 7447. There's also a 7448. Um, one of these seven segment display drivers is created for a common cathode and one is created for a common anode. The 7447 is designed to work with a common anode device. So if you're using a seven segment display that's a common anode and you need a driver, you would use a 7447. So this is a connection, a logic diagram. If you look on the left here, these would be your binary inputs. A, B, C, D, switches. That would be zero. Oh, hang on just a second. Um, okay, they would be uh, any number from zero to 15, right? Um, any number from zero to 15. But if you're using a, a hex display, the one I was talking about before, you would actually be able to display the uh, number one through F, um, I mean, A, B, C, D, E, F, yes. And, um, but if you're using a seven segment display, you can only display zero through nine. So this is what's inside the driver. These would be your binary inputs and these outputs would be connected to all your segments, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Um, you don't need to see that. So here's a typical circuit, okay? It's not really that complicated. What the driver does is it converts this binary number to a decimal display. That's what it does. If you want to just create a binary number and display it as a decimal number, rather than having some switch at every one of these inputs, um, typically we'd be using binary. So you uh, keep in mind this, this switch right here is your least significant bit. So this binary number, this would, this switch value zero or one be on the right. All right, this would be on the right. And then you would input those to the device, A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D, A is the least significant bit. This would all, these are active low and we're not using them, so we hook them up to power so they don't, they're not turned on. And then you would hook up to the common anode right here, common anode, the 7447 goes with the common anode. And then you would need a limiting resistor to each uh, LED. So it converts the binary number into a decimal display. This number right here, starting from the left, the most significant bit is 0, 1, 0, 1, which is the number 5. Okay. So that is the end. Now, in the assignment that I'm going to make for you, which I haven't made yet, but I'll have it done by the end of today, uh, you will see a question about the 7448 and the common cathode. It's hooked up the same exact way, okay? But if you use a 7447 with a common cathode, it will not work. Um, so that's it. I told you this was gonna be short. Let me stop this.